There has been a double-A Eastern League team in this part of Connecticut since 1973. From 1973 to 1993, they were known as the Bristol, then New Britain, Red Sox. In 1994, the team's affiliation changed to the Minnesota Twins, and they moved into the newly built New Britain Stadium and became the Rock Cats. Players who have come through New Britain over the years include David Ortiz, Tory Hunter, A.J. Przinsky, Joe Maurer, and Justin Morneau, to name a few. With new ownership in place, on June 4, 2014, the Rockcats announced their move to a new ballpark, 12 miles east in Hartford, and a new name, the Hartford Yardcoats. This move surprised everyone and left New Britain Stadium without a tenant. With the new ballpark in Hartford over budget and an opening that has been delayed until May 31st, there's a new team in New Britain, the Atlantic League New Britain Bees. With their season starting on schedule, there's a lot of anticipation of a rivalry with the downstate Bridgeport Bluefish. The New Britain Bees begin play on April 21st here in New Britain Stadium against the York Revolution. And with me is the general manager of the New Britain Bees, Patrick Day. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Hey, Great. thanks for coming out on such a cold day. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, no problem. If they say the best day to talk baseball is a cold day in uh, February, we got a great one today. Exactly. Exactly. So the Bees begin play um, here in New Britain on April 21st. You're a new team coming into a stadium that has a pretty much an established fan base. Tell us about how the team um, came to be in New Britain and how, uh, I guess it's an expansion team in the Atlantic League. Yeah, a absolutely. Um, for, 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 first and foremost, um, we couldn't be more excited than to, to, to be here. Um, it's, a, it's a mature baseball market um, that has had great success in pro professional baseball. Um, and there's not many times that a stadium this young becomes available to be able to move, 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 move into. Um, and really, how, how, how this whole deal came to be is, um, as a lot of people know, the, um, the Solomon ownership group made a decision to move move the Double A Eastern League franchise into Hartford, which um, good we, we, we wish them the best of luck, and um, they got a ni nice new stadium down there. But we're able to move in, and it's a great Atlantic League market, fit right in the Atlantic League footprint. Um, and it's perfect, and we couldn't be more excited. Now, what were your thoughts when you heard the Yard Goats have some little, have some issues when it comes to the stadium being over budget, but more importantly, their opening is delayed uh, until May 31st? What were your first thoughts? Were you happy about that, or kind of um, it's you know, unfortunate that happens to a franchise and you're just worrying about your own business? Yeah, I'm just worrying about our own business. I would never wish ill on, 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 on anybody. It's too tight of a community, and um, there's... There's room for both of us to operate. There's a it's definitely a large enough market. I'm just trying to be the best B I can be. Sounds good. <laughs> now, did you attend many uh, New Britain Rockcats games last year or, or in the past? No, I did as a child in 1983. I didn't go to a Rockcats game. I went to a New Britain Red Sox game and watched a guy named Roger Clements um, came down where I, I grew up in the Berkshires and we, we my brothers drove me down here. I remember doing that when I was eight years old. But um, no, I, I personally I hadn't been to a rock cat game. But you're well you're well aware of the sellouts and, yeah, and the big crowds these absolutely. days. Absolutely, and um, I'm I'm great to have a coworker inside the office named Bill Dowling who used to own own own, own this franchise and and operate as the president and GM and. He's come on as a team advisor. And yeah, I was going to ask you about him. So, so um, I'm sure he's excited to continue uh, work here in New Britain. Yeah, yeah, it's a real labor of love for him. Um, he's got a real passion for it, and um, put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into uh, in, into this. So, so it means a lot to him. And yeah, he's he's working his butt off. That's great. Now. Um, the mayor of uh, New Britain, Aaron Stewart, gets high marks in a lot of different areas. How's your relationship with with the mayor and, and uh, in the city? It couldn't be better. Um, I'm excited to see her tonight. We're going to her uh, inauguration ball, um, and um, the city has uh, treated us with open arms. That's great. Now, um, one question I have is, how do you find players? Now, um, John and I went to the World Series Club um, a couple months ago, and one of the guests was Rich Hill. 
who uh, played for a month, I guess, for the Long Island Ducks before he signed with the Red Sox in September, played great, pitched great, yeah. and then ended up with a $6 million contract with the A. So like, do they, the players find you, or do you find them, or is it a combination? Um, they find us, the, the, the large, large majority of it. I mean, it's a, it's a league of choice. It's an open, it's a top open classification league there is. Um, the bottom line on it, like, I, I tell a lot of people the, um, the team I worked for in Southern Maryland last year had 15 ex-major league teams, players, 15 wow. ex-major league players. Rockets had nine. Um, I, there's no doubt in my mind that the quality of play is better than what, what's played in AA Eastern League. Um, um, but it's, it, it's great for players. I mean, that, that's a fulfilling thing is a guy, if you think about Philly and minor league baseball, it's really an apprenticeship program, right? You know, they draft kids, they, they move up, they move up, they train them. They don't really play to win. They play to get them developed. Um, and then they top out. Or a kid will jump a guy that's older that they think has a higher ceiling. But those, those guys that are 29 that got big league experience need a place to play in order to get signed again. So they, 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 they come and play in this league. Sure. And um, so what's the situation as far as how can fans get tickets? Are they on sale right now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We're, we're selling se season tickets right now. Um, we'll put um, single game tickets on in March, but um, we have 10 game plans um, for $80, which are absolutely fabulous. Um, and um, we've got full season tickets for um, 70 games for $500. And um, advertising is an important aspect of, uh, of this business. Mm -hmm. and. The corporate supports the main, main focus right now because the way these uh, minor league baseball teams work is the, the, the corporate community is really what underwrites the, the cheap, affordable ticket. So um, we're, we're working hard right now to, to, to build that support. Now, do you have merchandise available like hats and swag and everything? I, I, absolutely. We got, we got, we got net, net hats, regular game hats, um, T-shirts. Um, Ladies wear all, 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 all kinds of things, one, one mini bats, everything, everything you can imagine. That's great, great. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the kids are going to love it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. I, when when I heard the Rockets were moving to, to Hartford, I said, well, great that they're getting a stadium. But in the, at the end of the day, a ten year old doesn't know who's on the field. No, you no, know, they it, really don't. It, it really doesn't matter. And and you, you hit the nail on the head. What what I a lot of people do ask me about the yard goats thing, and I don't. I really don't view that as competition. I, I, I view the closest theater that plays movies as, as, our, as our largest competition. Sure, sure. That, that's what we're going after. Um, and um, I like to think we're better than that because you can, you can sit and talk to your child for three hours rather than s sit in a dark room. Well, if, you know, if attendance in New Britain over the years is any indication, you're going to do just fine. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Fine. Yeah, we hope. We hope. And tell us so just a little bit about uh, the renovations that, that are uh, happening at the stadium right now. We, we noticed it walking on the way in. Yeah, it, it's really cool. So, since we're the bees, um, the whole the whole concourse area is getting um, repainted. Um, it'll be yellow or gold black with some honeycombs in there, um, which, which which is exactly what our team colors are. Um, all the carpeting around the facility was pretty aged. Um, that's getting replaced. Um, all the um, all the cabinets and furniture type of work at suite level and in the clubhouses is getting changed over. Um, clubhouses are getting totally renovated. Um, we're going to repair the outfield wall. It's kind of starting to sag a little bit and showing some age. So so that's going to get fixed up too. All right, one more question. I know that everyone wants to know how's the food going to be. It's going to be fabulous. We um, just announced our concessionaire. It's going to be Legends, people that do the y Yankee Stadium. Um, they're fabulous, fabulous food partner. I, we expect it to be a complete upgrade to, from, from what's been in here previously. Sounds good. Well, we're all excited for the season. I really appreciate you inviting us into the yeah. stadium on this cold winter day in February. No, no problem. Thanks, Patrick. Yeah, I appreciate you okay. having me. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.